so for today's video I'm going to be doing my long awaited back to school supplies haul. So I actually started my YouTube channel around back to school time last year and I've been wanting to do a proper back to school series ever since I did it last year and I'm so excited that it is finally that time to do it again. So if you do want to go see all of my old back to school videos, like I think I did a school morning routine, a haul, um, I did a beauty haul for school. If you want to go see those, they're all at the bottom of my channel and I'll also link a link to a little playlist in the description box. So make sure you go and check them because they are literally Fetus Anastasia. So in this video I'm going to be showing you my bag, shoes, beauty and stationery things that I've picked up for back to school because I just prefer to get it all done early so then I can make videos for you and hopefully give you ideas on what you could get. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. So I'm actually just going to start off with my stationery and if I keep looking down it's because I have it all down here. So I'm going to start off with the basics pencils so I just got the Stedler five pack of pencils I prefer getting Stedler pencils because I know that they're going to be good quality schools sometimes have them but at our school we just have to bring them with us so yeah these are the ones I get you get a 2b a b a h b a h and a 2h so they're perfect for if you're doing art as well so I definitely recommend just getting these pencils because you can notice a difference between these pencils and other pencils I then also got this pack of Papermate Inkjoy pens, you get eight of them and they have little hearts on the lids which I thought were really adorable but these were only a pound from Tesco and these are amazing pens, they last absolutely ages so to be fair with this pack it will probably get you through the year so definitely recommend getting something like this. I then just got the Helix Oxford pencil sharpener so this one is just like a little circle shape and it has two holes to sharpen everything with it has a big hole for like maybe thicker pencils and then a smaller hole for like writing pencils so this is perfect and because it is in like a little tin you don't have to go to the bin to sharpen your pencil i then just have this helix oxford ruler and by the way that pencil sharpener was only a pound so all this helix stuff is actually pretty cheap and then i got this helix ruler for 50p and all of this is from tesco and it's basically a folding ruler so it will fit in my pencil case perfectly and it is a 30 centimeter one so it's basically perfect for school i definitely recommend getting folding rulers over the just smaller rulers because one you can put them in your pencil case and two you won't have to say if you're drawing something out a lot bigger move your ruler across you can just open it out and you have it here so I definitely recommend getting something like this. I then just have the Helix Oxford pack of two rubbers so these were 75p as well from Tesco and they are very big rubbers and they are good rubbers. You can definitely tell the difference between these rubbers and a lot of other rubbers because some rubbers they leave marks and they just leave colour and it doesn't look nice but these rubbers are incredible to so get something like this if you are going to get rubbers because I just think they're much better and because you get two it will last you literally probably all year. I then got the Helix Oxford set of mathematical instruments, it's basically a like protractor set so it just comes in this little tin here and you just open it up and it has like a ton of stuff inside so it comes with like this little stencil thing, it comes with a school timetable, it comes with a bunch of different protractors, it also comes with a compass, a sharpener, a pencil, a 15 centimetre ruler and a rubber as well and this was only a pound again from Tesco so honestly you definitely need to go and check out Tesco because all of their stuff is on offer at the moment and it is incredible because normally these are about four or five pounds to buy so to get all of that for a pound bargain. I then just picked up a Pritt stick, so this one is the power glue, it's a silver one. I always find that the normal Pritt sticks don't really stick my work down and again cheaper glue never sticks my work down so you know what I just gave in, it was only 75p, I don't know why Tesco stuff is always so cheap at the moment but it's just the Pritt stick power glue and yeah I got this, amazing. I then just picked up this pack of Sharpie Fluo Extra Large highlighters, so you get four of them, you get a yellow one, a pink one, an orange one and a green one. They're smear guards so they won't smear your pen when you put them over them and they are extra long length like, nibs as well so it will definitely highlight all of your words no matter how big your handwriting is. So I'm probably just going to take maybe two of them at a time, I'll probably take the pink and the yellow first for the first half of the year and then for the second half of the year I'll probably just take the green and the orange. And these were £2 I believe so these were the most expensive things out of the whole set of station where I got which I was pretty surprised about but I think they're going to be really good and especially because I'm going into year 10 I'm going to need to highlight a lot of my work. I finally then got these Crayola pack of 12 coloured pencils. These again were a pound from Tesco and it comes with 12 different colours. It comes with basically all of the basic colours. I actually can't even get it open. It comes with a white, a brown, like a dark red, a red, orange, yellow, green, dark green, blue, 
light blue, black and purple. So basically every colour you need other than pink, which is a bit sad. But yeah, for a pound I don't think you can go wrong and I think they're perfect because Crayola colouring pencils don't need like any smudges. Like it colours it all straight so you can't see through it, which I really like. And yeah, especially because I'm going to be doing art this year for GCSE, I thought it would be helpful. For my pencil case, I decided just to go with a clear one because I wanted just to be able to see what I have in here. This is just from Paper Chase and it was £1.75. I was going to get one from Wilkinson's but I feel like sometimes they're not as good quality and for a little bit more you can get a better quality one. So I just got this clear pencil case and it is really big as well so it should hold a lot of my stationery. Okay so also from Paper Chase, it was a 3 for 2 offer so I decided to pick up some folders. So I just picked up this folder here and this folder. They're basically the same folder but different sizes and they are see through like this. So I thought that I would get this one for like homework or little pieces of paper and then this one for like different coursework bits and everything like that. I thought they'd be a lot more handy to keep in my bag than just chucking it in because I like to keep all of my schoolwork nice. So these were, I think this one was like £1 and this one was like 50p but I got this one free because it was a 3 for 2 offer with my pencil case. So yeah, I really, really like this and I'm really happy with these. I wanted some clear ones and these were a lot better quality than you would get in a lot of other shops. So again, definitely recommend going to Paper Chase for things like this. I then picked up an actual pair of scissors. So these are from Paper Chase as well, but they weren't in the 3 for 2 offer. They're just silver with a clear handle and then it just has this little case on. I thought these would be handy because at school sometimes the teachers don't always have enough scissors and sometimes you have to wait. So I thought it would be better if I have my own pair so then I can just do it straight away and start on with my work. And I think these are £1.75. Of course you could get cheaper ones, but I liked the colour of them so... I decided to get these ones. Now I'm just going to do a few beauty bits that I picked up. So I first of all picked up a deodorant. This is a roll-on deodorant and it's the Garnier Mineral Invisible 48 Hour. So obviously I haven't used it because I'm saving it for school so I don't know what it's going to be like but it was only a pound and I thought it would be handy to keep in my bag. I then picked up a pack of towels just to keep in my bag because you never know. And then I just have this little beauty bag. So the bag itself is actually from H&M and it was only £1.99 and it's just this cute little toiletry type bag and in it I actually keep a mini lint roller which I got from H&M. It was 99p for two. Um, you just got a refill but it was spotty and I wanted to use the floral one and it just comes on this little pink handle and it fits perfectly in the bag. So I always find I get to school and I have fluff on me so I thought that would be perfect. I then picked up some Superdrug Shine Control Sheets because if you know me, aka Poppy and Amir, I always ask them for their oil blotting sheets so I just decided to pick up my own this year because I genuinely need them so bad because my skin is very very oily. These were actually like one of the most expensive things I got, I think they were like £2.69. I then also picked up a new Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and a Collection Last Imperfection Concealer because I'm going to be using these in the morning then I'm literally just going to pop them in the bag, do it up and I'm ready to go. So just in case I need to top up throughout the day, I have all of it there ready. Okay, so now onto my shoes and then I'm gonna show you my bag. So for shoes, I think it's very important to get one to the good sole because if you're like me, last year I just got some ones from like Asda at the start of the year and they literally didn't last two months. Honestly, I think I spent about 60 pounds on school shoes in the end because I just didn't get good ones at the beginning. But I think if you get good ones at the beginning, they will last a lot longer and it's just much more worth the money. So I decided to go to Topshop because I figured that Topshop would have some really nice ones. So so these ones are just these kind of brogy type ones. So they were £30, they were 29 so I thought I didn't think that was bad. I thought that was cheap for Topshop. They just have this very, very solid um, sole. It is very solid. And then it just says Topshop in here. And they basically have this little snake skinny type pattern here. And then they just have the latest with little gold bits on and some bits are shiny and some bits are a little bit matte which I liked and yeah I just thought these were really nice and as soon as I saw them I definitely had to get them. I really like them. And finally for my bag, so my bag just looks like this, it is the H&M black tote bag and it is huge, look at that, it is absolutely huge, it's made my lighting go all weird. But this was meant to be £40 and it was not down to £30, it just has a long strap here, two gold bits here and it has so many compartments inside. I I am going to be doing a what's in my school bag as one of my next videos so if you want a proper in-depth overlaid look watch that video. So that was everything that I picked up for back to school. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I actually enjoyed filming it so much and I'm actually really happy with it. 
thumbs it up if you want more back to school videos and let me know if you're excited to go back to school in the comments and let me know what date you go back as well because I'm interested. I love you all so much and I will see you soon. Bye! Lost in the cracks of the landslide